This is the packaging for Google's Home Mini and Wemo's Wi-Fi Smart Plug. Hello and welcome to our channel all about home electronics. Now if you have any interest in making life easier with a do-it-yourself smart home gadget, then hit the subscribe button at the bottom right of your screen. In this video, we're going to show you step-by-step -step how to set up Google Home with Google Assistant and how to set up the Wemo Wi-Fi Smart Plug and then pair it with Google Home Assistant. So, stay tuned, we'll begin right after this. All right, let's start with the Google Home Mini. to start they're pretty simple it basically says plug it in using the supplied power cord it's a nice quality cord it's about five feet in length and then download the application on your smartphone now you already have a smartphone you know how to download apps but you want to go to the app store and find an app that's titled Google Home once you begin the process of downloading the application from the application store you're gonna see it processing and the next step that we're going to want to take is we're going to plug in our device and power it up. Make certain Bluetooth on your smartphone is turned on. Next, the app's going to look for devices. Once it finds your Google Home Mini or your Google Home, it'll begin to connect. It'll ask if you heard a sound. Then it's going to ask you to select your Wi-Fi network. And in this case, we're going to choose demonstration and simply input the Wi-Fi password to your Wi-Fi router. Now after you've done that, it's going to begin to connect to your Wi-Fi. If you have trouble, in the application there's built-in help setting. Once Google Home connects to your Wi-Fi, you're going to begin the process of setting up your Google Home Assistant. It's going to ask you things for voice recognition, so forth and so on. All right, so next we're gonna take a look at this Wemo Wi-Fi smart plug, and we're gonna pair it to the Google Home Mini. So they can seal the instructions inside this flap on the back side. So the instructions tell us to download the Wemo app, but don't launch the Wemo app. And then we're going to take the Wi-Fi plug and plug it into a receptacle. After plugging it in, go ahead and start the Wemo app on your smartphone. Now go to the Wi-Fi settings on your smartphone. You will see that the Wemo smart Wi-Fi receptacle shows up as a Wi-Fi signal and go ahead and select it.
Now your Wemo Wi-Fi receptacle will start to discover nearby networks. And in this case, we're going to select the demonstration Wi-Fi network. What you'll want to do at this point is enter the password for your Wi-Fi network. Then the Wemo app is going to attempt to connect to your Wi-Fi. You'll be prompted to input your email address and you will want to enter your email address so that the Wemo can send you notifications. Let's give it a quick test. We're going to use the button that's located on the face of the Wemo smart receptacle and see if we can turn the lamp on. Well, that works perfect. And that's an advantage over other smart Wi-Fi receptacles. You can actually come straight to the device and turn the lamp on. Competing devices don't have that particular feature. Now let's test it from the app. In the app at the top right you see the power button. Go ahead and press it. When it successfully turns the receptacle on it'll change colors as you've seen right here. You'll also hear a small click at the Wi-Fi receptacle. Now in this screen we're not going to show you how to do this because we believe you can probably figure it out. But you can set schedules or auto off timers. You can set an away mode. There are a host of features built into the Wemo Smart Wi-Fi app. But stay tuned. Next, we're going to show you how to pair the Google Home Mini with your Wemo Wi-Fi Smart Receptacle. Open the Google Home app on your smartphone. And at the top left of your screen, you'll see it highlighted with the large yellow arrow. Press that three bar icon and then down here in the middle, press on home control. And at the bottom right of your app, you'll see that plus sign. Press that. Now scroll all the way down to the W's till you get to the Wemo and press it. Now we're ready to verify the Wemo with your Google Home app. It's going to ask you to toggle your Wemo. And you simply press that button right here and then press it again. So you've toggled it on and you've toggled it off. And the application automatically identifies that it found your we Wemo Mini. Hey Google, turn Wemo Mini off. Okay, turning off the Wemo Mini. Hey, we appreciate you watching this video today. Please subscribe to the channel. We're going to continue to add videos on other products on how you can make your home or office more into a smart home as your time and budget allow. We do appreciate you watching today. Please give the video a thumbs up and have a great day.